We found all kinds of treasures at this place, including this thing. Wait until you see what it is. That's right. I'm now the proud owner of my very own Sky Priority Boarding Lane rug. Where did I find something so... incredible? Well, here's your first clue. I stayed at the Atlanta Renaissance Concourse Hotel. One of my favorite hotels in the world thanks to its sweeping views of the runway and ramp at the planet's busiest airport, Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International. But let me explain. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks with Greenergrass.com. I am climbing into a U-Haul truck for two reasons. The first reason is because today is a Delta Airlines surplus sale. They do this once a month where they sell surplus stuff from the, uh, from the airline. Who knows what we're going to find, but we might need a truck. And the second reason is because I'm with my brother, Will. What's up, guys? Who is very charismatic and excited <laughs> about about his channel uh, that he's just started, so check it out. He's down here because he's picking up a car part, right? Many car parts. Uh, my channel is Bavarian Enthusiast TV. It's all about classic uh, German sports cars, what it's like to own and to live with those. So uh, classic Porsche as well as classic BMW. So check it out. Or just stick around for this video. Uh, the choice is yours. I'll link it in the description. Come see mine. Come see mine. It's better. That's nice. All right, let's <laughs> head over to the Delta Flight Museum and see what we can find at this surplus sale. The sale is held on the second Friday of every month. We lucked out with a beautiful November day. It takes place in a building near the Delta Flight Museum. It's only a short drive from the hotel. Driving our mighty U-Haul truck under the museum's 747 exhibit was a definite highlight of this trip. The sale runs from 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We arrived at 8.30 and I was number 11 in line, so be sure to arrive early. Soon, we were allowed in and my anticipation was building. There's no telling what you'll find inside. It's different each time you come, but as you now know, I was really excited when I saw those rugs. While waiting in line, we were given a list of some of the items for sale. It only helped build even more anticipation. Buyers are encouraged to bring their own bags or baskets to keep all their purchases together. But boxes are also provided to collect your hoard. Finally, my time had come. I was allowed in to check out what was available, and there was so much. There was a cart full of domestic first-class blankets. There were tons of seats. You could get stands for airplane models, holiday cards, books, plates, furniture. The variety was truly remarkable. There were even some prototype seats, designed to allow passengers to get out of the window seat without requiring the other passengers to block the aisles. These cozy suite seats were tested, but never installed. And you could get yours here. Uh, it's cozy and I, I guess it's sweet. What do you think? Leave a comment. Here I am with Judy, who runs this whole thing, and um, this is my first time coming here. Good. See so you again. It will not be my last. This <laughs> is this is an incredible sale. I mean, how did this whole thing get started? Well, it was back in 1995. It started out as a yearly event, and it was held up in the two big hangars. And at that point in time, I mean, there was desk and chairs and just enough stuff to fill up the two hangars. Well, then after the renovations and we got the great uh, new hangars, we moved it down here to this building and we have it uh, now once a month, the second Friday of each month, and it's just a way to get rid of some of the surplus that uh, seems to appear at Delta. <laughs> well, this is the very definition of one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yes, indeed. That's my motto. We are sitting in my brand new MD90 first class seats. <laughs> You are the first of what I think will probably be many interviews in these seats okay. for the channel, so keep an eye on that if you okay. want to see those. Um, so this is a crowd, man. There are a lot of people here, and it seems like a lot of people come here, the regulars. Yes, they frequent, are. Frequent flyers, if uh -huh. ever there were some. Yes, frequent buyers. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 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 what are people uh, looking for? Well, uh, these aircraft seats are good. We have a lot of t-shirts and uh, galley carts are very popular when we have them in stock. We don't have any at this moment, but 
Hope Springs Eternal that I will have more soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard a couple of people asking about those. Mm -hmm. They seem to be a popular item. What's the strangest thing you've seen come through? Okay, the strangest thing is the uh, pressurized bulkhead door from a DC-9, the kind that is in the back of the airplane that leads down to the steps. I thought, well, you know, I put a $500 price tag on it, second guy in line bought it, and was thrilled. And uh, from what I understand, he was going to take it home and put it up in his house, like, to... Uh, into the wine room, the area that he was, because I mean, it, it still had the thing that you, I mean, it was fully functioning, so it would have been certainly a conversation piece. That's cool. But uh, but uh, the proceeds, what happens to the money that we, that we spend here? They, it all goes back into projects here at the uh, museum. For instance, the 747 has been uh, needing some repairs, so it all goes back into projects here at the museum. Judy, thank you so much for your time. This is well, incredible. Well, thank you for coming. I am so proud of these seats, but what does my brother think? All right, so we got these loaded in to the truck. You know what this is, Will? This is 30 years of farts. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's true. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, let's get back to Greensboro. show you some of the things that we picked up at the surplus sale. You've got to go. So um, let's see. First thing, I got this uh, this um, pin that says flight leader from the old uniforms. Uh, I just thought that was kind of kind of cool. I got several of these notepads. So all of my notes will be on old Delta um, notepads here. We love to fly and it shows. That's old, but it's still true. Um, I got a bunch of these old uh, system maps and, and, and route maps and and uh, stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, I like this one the best, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is, just a bunch of airport maps. Like, how cool is that? Uh, I got stickers that say, I visited Delta, because I have <laughs> several times. I got a, a, a lanyard, uh, I guess it's called a lanyard, a badge holder, it says Delta VIP. Not because I have a badge or anything like that, I just thought it was cool. Maybe uh, one day I'll have a job where I have to wear it, and I can wear this one. Unless it's at, you know, another airline, then I probably wouldn't. Enough of that, hey, whatever. Uh, and then I'm excited to uh, to open this up for you. This is a set of North American Airlines playing cards. So I guess uh, this is my first attempt at an unboxing. <laughs> I don't know how exciting that's gonna be. Let's give it a go. Overkill bunch? Yeah, probably. All right, it says do not open box, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because uh, I figure I own it now, and I can probably do that? All right, so that's probably enough. Oh, I probably... Mm. Interesting fact. North American Airlines playing cards made in India. Now you know. All right, here we go. Unopened. Look at this. Look at that. A pack of 12 playing cards. 12 unopened packs of playing cards. I also picked up this. And uh, if I'm flying Delta and I run into you and I have this with me and you're working for Delta, uh, I'll give this to you. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So that's an incredible uh, little quirk of um, Delta. I, I don't think there's any other airline that does that. Certainly not here in the United States, the surplus sale with that degree of regularity. Uh, love seeing... Uh, you know, a couple of subscribers to the channel. That was really exciting. Thanks for saying hello. Uh, and, uh, and always fun to connect with fellow Av Geeks or Ave Geeks, depending on how you say that. Um, hey, anyway, uh, I would definitely check it out if I were ever in Atlanta on uh, the second Friday of a given, uh, given month. But frankly, I'm going to come down again just for this and no other reason. If you do, stay over there at the, uh, the Renaissance Concourse uh, uh, Hotel. That way you can get a good view of the, of the runway action and the ramp action while you're down here. But enough about that. Between now and the next time, see you in the sky. So this is the real reason we've come uh, to Atlanta, to get his car parts. Um, I guess it's uh, stuff for his, his cars. I don't really, <laughs> really know about cars. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's stuff for the cars. It's stuff for the cars. What are you going to do? Not as cool as plane seats. <laughs>